I was attempting the world record, I was doing three things. I was getting outside my comfort zone, I was calling upon my resilience, and I was finding confidence in myself and my own decisions. I didn't know it then, but those are not the attributes of failure. Those are the attributes of bravery. Caroline Paul has been an adventurer her whole life, from mountain biking to whitewater rafting to flying experimental planes. But when she hit her mid-50s, she noticed that there weren't a lot of women like her getting out there. So she decided to travel the country and find inspiration. She talked to several older women who've done some pretty amazing things. Her new book is Tough Broad, From Boogie Boarding to Wing Walking, How Outdoor Adventure Improves Our Lives as We Age. And Caroline joins us now. Caroline, thanks Hi. for being with us. Thank you. I'm very happy to be here. Thank you. So what is it about uh, women, do you think, that we're maybe more a little risk averse or am I just speaking about myself? <laughs> <laughs> is there a benefit that women get from the outdoors as opposed to men? You know, when I was outside surfing around 55 and I was on my electric skateboard and I was flying my experimental planes, I didn't really see any women out there my age. I saw a lot of men my age and older, but no women. And I started wondering, what kind of messaging are we getting that is um, telling us not to go outside? And it's actually pretty toxic. It, you know, we're told that our aging is going to be sort of full of breaking bones and cognitive decline. And so I had this feeling that that was probably bad for us. <laughs> so I went out looking to see women who were bucking that. Although, I, I think we all discover at a certain age, maybe it's 48, maybe it's 54, that it is a little bit easier to get hurt uh, doing the things that you used to do and that the recovery is a heck of a lot longer. How do you manage that uh, aggravation? Well, I think adaptation is really important, but here's what I found. The science says that the way we look at our own aging predicts how well we age. So if we think our aging is going to be a time of like frailty and decline, it is going to be. There's actually science that says you have a much higher chance of a cardiac arrest earlier and cognitive decline earlier. But if you have an optimistic view of your aging, you are going to be healthier, happier, and you live seven years longer. And so it seemed to me that if you went outside, that was a direct rebuke to all the messaging that said, oh, we're frail, oh, we're boring. And in fact, that's what the science really does say. Get outside, get an activity, and you will find that your aging journey is full of exploration and exhilaration. It's not boring. We, you, we're showing some pictures of some amazing women that you talked to. I, I'm looking at these ages, and I don't quite believe it. A 74-year-old BMX racer, a 71-year-old wing walker, an 80-year-old scuba diver. Yeah, it was really, it was very impressive and really inspiring. The, the truth is we can get out there. You do have to make some allowances, obviously. I interviewed Virginia Rose, who's a bird watcher. She's in a wheelchair and has been since she was 14. And as she said to me, you know what, Caroline, we're all temporarily able-bodied. But it turns out you can get outside, even in a wheelchair, you can go bird watching. And so I talked to a lot of women who, despite their aging journey, they might have health issues, they were still adapting to get outside because they knew it was really good for them. Yeah, so it, it doesn't have to be adrenaline uh, driven, it, it can just be adventure driven. So, so what would be a go between, between bird watching and standing on an airplane? <laughs> Is there, what are some middle grounds that we might, someone might want to get started with? Well, I mean, it's kind of up to everybody. What I realized, and I myself thought that adventure had to be this high octane experience, but it turns out you just have to feel your own exhilaration, pushing your own comfort, comfort zones, learning something new, phys feeling your own physical vitality. So, I mean, I walked with a 95 year old and it was the most adventurous walk, honestly, that I've ever had because she would stop, look closely at everything, wonder at everything. We had lots of good talks. And so it turns out that whatever your adventure is, it's going to be good for you. Just get outside because it turns out nature itself is really medicinal. So here we are taking a lot of pharmaceuticals that have a lot of side effects when actually getting outside and picking an activity can help not just your physical vitality, but your emotional well-being. Because you find people out there, you're experiencing novelty, and you're, re you're sort of upending your own views of yourself. And that's really powerful. Well, again, the book is Tough Broad. You can get more at carolinepaul.com and follow her on social media. Thank you, Caroline. Thank you. 
Thank you. Have a great adventurous day. Thanks.